Hello, welcome. This is Kelly AG. Um, I just jumped on a, like a minute sooner because I was going to get this shared over to my group. How's everyone doing today? I'm kind of jumping on spare the moment. So um, let's see. Um, I'm just trying to see where I can share this. Okay. Hmm. Oh, here we go. I never remember where to share this on the computer. <laughs> so, gotta bear with me. And then I also share this to my, um, face, or to my YouTube. So, <clears throat> if you can't watch live, you can always go there. And what I try to do is, um... Not chit chat too much, but okay, I think I am good. So I'm going to actually get started. Um, so if you're here, let me know. Say hello. Let me know where you're from. If I, or like if it's your first time on here, let me know where you're from, okay? And I will try to watch the comments, but if I don't, I will go back and um, look at them, okay? So what we're working with is the Christmas Scotty bundle, which is on page 34 of our, I still call it a holiday catalog, but the mini catalog. So it's on page 34 and it's actually not a bad price, $36.75. I think that's a great price and I always love when we have a punch, okay? Makes it easier. I love the dies too, don't get me wrong. So, um... What we're working with is I have this little kind of fun fold card and I don't even got it folded correctly. And I kind of bent that. So um, I had seen this card. Actually, I seen both of these cards. Um, other demos had made them. I kind of put my own little twist on it. So, but this one opens up. It's kind of like a fun little fold. And so it says, Merry Christmas, if you got little dog, or dog lovers out there. But it says, May your days be fury, furry and bright. So, okay. I've been up since 6 this morning, so I'm kind of a little <laughs> fuzzy today. But anyway, so the second card I was making, so it looks like a little gift that they're kind of opening. And I love the look on his face, the way his eyes are, and even his too, like... Oh, they're catching me getting in trouble. We have two dogs, so um, we know when we get that little look. But it's like, woof, woof. And then Merry Christmas. May your days be furry and bright. And you don't have to stamp that. You can just do the Merry Christmas if you want it. And then the other one are, it's I made this little, um, the peekaboo treat bags. So if you have friends that have dogs, and if you make little treats, or whatever um, you can always take in um, kind of make them a few little dog treats and have them ready for Christmas or you know if you're um, the post office people have dogs that you know of I think that's kind of cute to hand out as little gifts so and then I'm also using the real red and garden green combo pack the ribbon and then um, and I only use this on Let's see, the little heart, the heart pearls, I just put one right there like on the gift. And then the other one is the red and green pearls that I'm using, okay? So we'll get started here. And then I'll tell you about the paper in just a second, but I was just going to let you know my classes to go. I have um, the Kindest Gnomes. So these are the four cards. You'll be making eight of them, two of each. And you get like about $32 worth of product. Now my classes are $41.50, which includes your shipping. Um, so it's actually what you're basically paying for is the, the product. And then you get, you know, stuff to do this. And like, I'll take and cut out that. Um, you'll be cutting this stuff out. But I may actually cut out the the nose and you know some of that stuff but you will need the bundle to do the cards 
So that one, um, you have till, I believe it's July 13th to sign up. And then I have the um, Splendid Thoughts. And these, I'm using them as wedding cards. I absolutely love the designer paper that comes with it. Now this is like a gold, so it's kind of shiny and it's hard to see. And it, the pictures really do not do it justice. They are beautiful, beautiful cards. But this could be used as like an anniversary card. I didn't even do the, the inside yet, but it's got all gold in it and the white. So it's really beautiful. But if you're interested, I do have um, on my page or my group, I got the link that you can sign up for it. Or if you got any questions, just contact me and I'd be happy to answer them. But that class is, um, the last day to sign up is July 13th. Okay. So let me get that out of the way. So let's go ahead and start our first class. Or card, I should say, not class. But um, last week was just a busy week for me. I just didn't get my Facebook Live in. I tried to post some pictures. So, okay, let's get started here. Now, I kind of went ahead and did some of this ahead, but yet I'm going to walk through everything and show you how I did it. Okay. So, the first thing you are going to need is your um, basic black. It's eight and a half by five and a half, and you will score that at four and a quarter. And then, let's see, I think it's this one. Nope. I have a piece that is um, four in a four by five and a quarter. I'm sorry. I don't know what I, I must have cut that. So what I did is I didn't even glue mine down, but I, I kind of put it in my um, cotton emboss. And I just laid it down and held it really good till I was ready to take and put it in there. But um, I used the circle dies, and I believe that is the second to the largest, but it's about a three inch um, circle, okay? So I put that and ran that through, first of all. And it goes through your black as well, okay? So what you will get, I'm gonna kinda, pull all this out what you're going to get is it will look like this okay so you just line that up and then it'll cut through both of them okay so that's what we did there and then um I actually did a red the scallop and that will go around here but I cut that out and then, um, if you're lucky enough to lay these together and have it turn out nice and even, that's great. But I'm not. So I take and I cut the or the scallop circle out. And then I run it back through with this sitting on top. So then it cuts that out. And then what I did is from this white that's cut out, I put the smaller... Um, this is the different shapes. I'm trying to think. I used a lot of this. This is the stylist, stylist shape dies. And I use that for pretty much everything else, okay? So I ran that through to get my small little circle, which is right here. Let me just set them aside. So I got my circle, because I wanted to do this too. So let me see. So I use that. So I have my circle, this circle, and you're gonna be using that there, okay? And then I have my scalloped to go around here, okay? So we got that far. Let me go ahead and show you how I did this. And I would highly recommend using your mat for this. Okay, so I'm going to take in this on. And I know that I was kind of like spare the moment to jump on. So even if you're watching the replay, 
you know, type in replay, okay? Because I'd like to know if you've seen it or not. I always love comments. So, so what I'm going to do is I cut my circle first so I kind of know how to um, put these snowflakes. We have a lot of people up <laughs> this week, so I don't know what kind of noise you guys are going to hear, but oh well. So I'm kind of turning it around to kind of get some different snowflakes in here. You don't want to overdo it, but enough. So I'm going to put a little bit there and I'm going to do one right there. Okay. So what I did then, that's my snowflakes, is I used, and I know this is a retired um, embossing folder, but I love it. it. It's just perfect for certain things, but it's the Subtles folder. And then I ran it through the big shot, okay? And then this is what you get when you're done. I don't know if you can see that or not, but hopefully, okay? So I did that with my next card too as well, but I'm going to just put that here. And what we're going to do is start putting our card together, okay? And then I took an um, punched out, let's see. This piece, before I get too far, this piece is um, of the DSP is one and a half by five. And then you're going to score it at four and a quarter because this is the piece that you're going to want to add on there. Okay. So that just flips right in the front and it works perfect. So, so I'm going to take and glue this on. And you want to make sure it's nice and even. So I'm going to use glue to take in, um, to be able to move it around a little bit. So I am really hoping, I don't guarantee anything because life is crazy. And hopefully my daughter is expecting so we will see when she is due but so hopefully i'll be back next wednesday but no guarantees <laughs> but i will try okay so i'm going to go ahead and add this right away but i think it's easier to cut your circle out and then stamp your snowflake. So you kind of got an idea of where they should go. I mean, you can go ahead and, and do it the other way, but okay. So now we will stamp the inside and you have to um, do a couple of things here. Let me see, um, find the right stamp set here. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to stamp this, but I stamp my snowflakes, like I inked them and then stamped twice, okay? So we wanna stamp first before we do anything here. May your days be furry and bright. Just love this, okay? So then I took in, I inked my snowflake skin and I stamped off once and just kind of did them light just so they kind of blend. Okay, and then I need to, on my little white, or white, my red, I'm sorry, this is a real red, I am going to stamp my Merry Christmas. Okay, there we go. So now we're done with the stamping so we can go ahead and put everything together, okay? I think this card is so stinking cute and if you like it, please let me know. Okay, so what we're going to do is kind of put this, just to kind of lay it there and then we are going to take our piece. I already got it scored and I need to flag it. 
I might make my flag a little bit shorter because it was kind of um, a little hanging over the, the edge. So this will be right there. So what I'm going to do is just kind of tuck it under. And I'm just going to double check it before I glue anything down. Oh goodness, I got everything all messed up here. Let's see. So just want to make sure that... Okay, you want it to cover your, um, your words inside, if possible. So... Okay, I think that should be good. So I'm just gonna put a little glue there, make sure it's nice and tight. And I guess before I go any further, I'm just going to lay it back down. Yeah, that should be good. It's not too difficult, so you don't really need to overthink it or anything, but and we will put this down. Okay. So you only wanna glue that little flap on the back. So now you can tuck this in here and your card will come together nice. Should probably crease that a little bit better. Okay. So now you got your circle and I'm going to just go ahead and layer this on here hopefully let's see okay and then where you're going to put glue is only right here where that circle is going to go okay so it's kind of a no-brainer here you just don't want to add too much glue so it squirts out and and hold that and kind of open your card. Okay. Make sure, yep. Make sure there's no glue squirting out back there. Okay. So our next thing is, let's get this back closed the way we should. Not sure what I got there, but. All right, so I am going to pop up my sentiment. Okay, I'm not sure if anyone's joining me or not, but like I said, you can watch the replay. I know I'm kind of jumping on here Okay, there we go, and I'm going to just glue my dog. And I guess the way this is cut, you could probably put it either way, but we'll do it this way. The way I started, and that fits on there just perfect. And then, oh, the paper I am using, I'll show you at the end because I got all my other cards on there. So I'm just gonna add a little glue, drop it glue here and just kind of put it on oops I obviously got glue on my finger okay and then I'm going to use the red and green pearls I have gone through so many of these already and Put one right there. So a simple card that is easy to mass produce if you wanted to, but you could use this technique with any kind of card. I think it's pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think, if you like it or not, okay? All right, so, and you could stamp this and punch it out if you want. The, the punch is the dog and the little bow, the, the ribbon, okay? So that is card number one. So let's do, let's do, let's see. We'll do, 
card number two. Okay, this is where they look like they're kind of getting into a present. Do you know that my dogs actually, if we wrap their treats underneath the tree or the one dog, any kind of present, and she is, or he, is ripping into everything. <laughs> so it's kind of funny, but all right. So what I did here is I have my basic black, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at your four and a quarter. I got the real red, which is, um, let me see, is three and seven eighths by five and eighth. And then my white is um, five by three and three quarters. Okay. This I used the, the, the second to the smallest square in the third. So it'd be like, you know how you got the largest is four. So I used two and three. And then I felt like my my present was getting washed out with the red and the white. So I took and I did a two by two um, square, just cut it out in the black. So I'm gonna go ahead and we will start with this card and I'll kind of go through it with you, what I did, okay? So we have like these, this ribbon that looks like it's untied and whatever. And I did this in the um, real red. this out of the way. So I just kind of randomly put this on. You can do it however. Kind of the same with the snowflakes. Definitely use um, um, oh, the foam underneath because you will get like some of the, like, especially with the dog, doesn't really stamp that good. And I got a little red there. So you know what? I'm going to do this. Wherever you make a mistake and need to cover it up, go right ahead. And you know what? My red is really, really juicy. So I don't know. It's like there. I really think that's enough. Okay. So what I did now is I ran this through the embossing folder and I also did my red because through the subtles folder and I just think it kind of softens it a little bit but what I was going to do on my card was kind of do it on a like off centered or whatever not you know perfectly straight but I didn't like how it looked <laughs> so I ended up just going back so if you don't want to emboss the red you really don't have to but it does look nice so so this would be embossed on the front okay now what I did is let me find I stamped my box in the this would make a great background too I think so I did that and then I laid my die on there and cut that out and then let's see, I got, let me stamp since I got the, here, I'll show you. See how this fits on here? It cuts it out perfect with the third largest. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my, um, my little woof woof on there. So I'm just gonna kind of do it randomly. Okay, and then let's see, inside I wrote Merry Christmas. So I will do that on the inside since I got the red out. But I, my, what I was gonna say is my red is really, really inky. It's like, ugh. So, let's see, I gotta clean my Merry Christmas. Now when I did this, if you're doing like mass producing these, I put the two um, stamps on my block together okay and then you could just stamp once and it would be done but I think that's cute so look at I got red right there so since I got red there you know what I'm gonna do 
I'm telling you, this red is crazy. There. Just act like the ribbon's being carried over. Okay? It's always a way to fix it. All righty. So, let's see. All right. So, we got that for the inside. Now, what I'm doing is finding, let's see, I got to do my black, the memento ink. Sorry, I have a lot of stamps out today. So, this, I'm doing the two dogs, okay? So, I'm going to put this one, and you got to kind of really make sure it's inked well. Um... What I do is I ink it well, and then I take in, um, I kind of push down, and I just let it sit for a minute. And then you can see it does take, you know, pretty good. And then I have the other dog. Now, this one you can use a punch, but the other one I fussy cut, okay? And it's not too bad. Let's see. Oh, I gave the dogs red collars too. And when you fussy cut this, let me close this up so I don't get more ink all over. I'm just gonna do the red real quick and then I will kind of show you. And if it's not perfect on there, it's fine for the collar. But there you go. But it's pretty easy to get to, you know, to get it on there, right? Okay. What I did, so I did that with the square. I got the punch for that. But when you fussy cut this, I would highly recommend going from here around this way. So you start at the back of the ears. Because if you don't, like I started here and went around, and then it was hard to hang on to um, to cut the tail. So if you cut this 